I am so excited right now. Oh, are you ready? Scissors! I can't tell you how excited I was to receive the Xtool F1 Ultra. Thank you so much Xtool for sending me this machine and giving me the opportunity to test it. Xtool F1 Ultra is a dual laser just like the original F1. Genius. But this one has a 20 watt diode laser as well as a 20 watt fiber laser built in. And I have so many plans with this machine. I will be starting a business with it. It's a powerful laser which can do deep engravings on metal as well as wood and other materials. And it's bigger than the original version, not massive, but for engraving jewelry and smaller items it's absolutely perfect. Unpacking this machine was super easy and as you can see it was very well packed. But I would suggest to watch unboxing videos from Xtool to make sure you do the initial unboxing and setup the right way and in the right order. There were some materials included in the box, also the hand switch, which is awesome. And then I received some extra stuff, button switch and also foot pedal. And I haven't used those yet. Everything was well labeled and user friendly and I kept the stickers for reference just in case. Then I plugged in everything I could and added the ducting into my Xtool smoke purifier. By the way, if you have the original F1 with a small smoke purifier and you are thinking about using it with the F1 Ultra, it is not ideal. You will either need to invest into the large smoke purifier or get an inline fan connected and vent outside. And then I realized that the cover on my F1 Ultra didn't close right to the bottom and there was still a small gap and the cover kept popping up if I did try to close it properly. So following a video from Xtool I tried to remove the cover and then put it back but it turned out the cover was slightly faulty and I will be receiving replacement cover soon but that still didn't stop me from trying the machine and testing some materials. I was pretty eager to engrave metals and see what it does. I really wanted to test the fiber laser. And here is my setup. And I also did the calibration process, but I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. You then use the hand switch to focus the machine. There is a red and blue dot that need to be aligned together to focus. And now let's try this machine. First of all, I wanted to see how the F1 Ultra handles these gold plated brass discs. Now with the F1 Ultra, I selected brass coin setting. And only change the lines per centimeter to 300. I always do that with metal engravings. Then I framed the design and processed the job. It took nine seconds. I think it took like two minutes on the original F1, which is still pretty fast, by the way. The engraving was very nice and even, but I wanted to try different settings as well, so I engraved the back too. This is a bare brass disc and again I kept playing with different settings. This last setting resulted in pretty deep engraving. You can definitely see the ridges.
This is another of those plated brass discs. This one rhodium plated and again I'm engraving a cut and this time I'm really pushing the power to see what it would look like. I know I could do multiple passes but I'm just playing at the moment and when I have more time I'll try different options. This engraving was pretty deep and really dark. I also received some extra materials from Xtool, like this coated stainless steel dog tag and engraved a dog on it. This is a bare stainless steel disc and I loved how this engraving came out and how deep it was. Next is a small sterling silver disc and a simple duff design. And again playing with the settings and trying to get a deeper engraving. This one is sterling silver too, but this disc is polished and so the engraving looks even better. And this is a gold filled disc and again it engraves perfectly. This tag is again from Xtool and it's gorgeous, coated stainless steel and here is the result. Now these were just my first tries, I'm going to be engraving more metals, testing more settings and cutting and engraving all sorts of materials. I've heard you can even cut sterling silver with this, only very thin sheets but I'm definitely gonna try that. But for now this will have to do. But I'm already planning products for my new shop and I can see how I will utilize this amazing machine along with my Xtool P2. But I can absolutely see the potential of this machine and what it can do for a creative business. I love the fact that it's a fully enclosed fiber laser. Usually they are open and also standard fiber lasers are sold in two parts and the cables are really sensitive so it's really good that everything is tucked in. I'm definitely a fan of this design. So again, I would like to say a big, big thank you to Xtool for giving me the opportunity to try this laser and I will be uploading more videos on this machine as well as the P2 and F1 and all the machines that I have. And I'm always sharing settings and projects and who knows what will come next. Of course, you will find the link for this machine in the description box below the video. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions or thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, bye!